excited to uh, let you all know that uh, we have now kicked off our first pilot of uh, schools-based pass schools pathways for SAFOL. Uh, we have here at Beverson Senior College a group of keen enthusiastic students uh, who I hope will be part of the future of SAFOL. Uh, this has been a pilot and is a pilot that has been one that has uh, been very close to my heart. Um, Thebenton Senior College is a school which, in my view, ticks uh, a number of boxes to lead the pack when it comes to schools based, based pathways for policing. Um, this school isn't zoned, it attracts and encourages students from right across South Australia. And being a school that has a particular focus on new arrivals and a very diverse multicultural cohort. It is the perfect place to be running this program. Um, you know, it's no surprise also for me, and I've got one of those surnames, which gives a pretty good indication uh, that I am not part of our 60,000 history first nations on the new arrival. My dad was a refugee, and when he arrived in Australia, uh, for the first time in his life, as an 18 year old, he could trust police. And I don't say that lightly because right across our community, we welcome people and we uh, are the single greatest example of multicultural success in the world. But there are so many people in our community as new arrival or as first generation Australians that have never had the privilege of trusting people in uniform before. So not only are we encouraging uh, a, a greater understanding amongst these new arrivals of the wonderful support that our police provide, but we're also encouraging pathways to see these first generation Australians uh, joining SAPOL with the support of these schools based pathways. Uh, this is one of our strategies. We're, of course, undertaking our accelerated recruitment program, 900 new cadets through the police academy in the next three years. But this program, fresh off the ground this week, is one that we are particularly proud of and I think will start to pay dividends with other schools coming on board in the future as well. Good morning. It is an exciting week. It's the inaugural um, course for the Pathways into Policing and we do hope to grow um, future applicants to join SAPOL um, to meet our recruiting targets. And it, it has been quite challenging for us to meet those targets. But as the Minister said, we've got, um, our target is to recruit over 900 um, police officers over the next three years. And this is key to, this is one of the strategies that is key to us achieving that goal. I met with the students on Tuesday with some of, some of my colleagues and we went through a question and answer session with them and um, it's, I will look forward to seeing how they develop through the course. I think the curriculum will provide them with um, good tools um, if they are, do decide to apply for SAPOL. But it also gives them an opportunity to see what SAPOL has to offer through um, we'll be providing excursions and experiences for them so that they can have a better understanding of what it's like to be a police officer. When I reflect back to when I joined Safehold in 1990, uh, all we had was the recruiting office and if you were lucky, you may know a police officer who could tell you about one of the 40 jobs that we have going in Safehold. So I look at, what, at the experience that these um, students will have and the opportunities and I am quite envious and um, as I said to the way, as the Minister said to me before, you know, it's a wonder we haven't done something like this earlier and, and it is true, you know, when, you, when we're in this competitive recruiting environment, um, we, need to do, we need to think out of the box and do things like pathways to policing. And I'd just like to thank the Thebiton Senior College and the Department of Education for their collaboration in, in um, developing this program and I'm sure it's going to be a success. Thank you. Good morning everyone. 
Um, we are so excited to be finally launching our Parkways to Policing program. It's the inaugural program in our centenary year, so two big uh, wins for us this year. The young people who have come to us from across the three sectors and from all over Adelaide have come because they have strong purpose. They really want to be police officers and we've just been thrilled to work with uh, SAPOL to develop the curriculum for them over the past nine months and a lot of work has gone into making sure that the learning is real and it really reflects what's happening in the police force and gives them a, a deeper understanding around all of the different roles that are available in the police force to them. Um, during the course they're going to develop um, interpersonal their capabilities uh, as well as deeper learning and so uh, they, by the end of this year they'll know for themselves whether they have what it takes uh, to be a police officer or, or they'll have a set of skills that will take them into an allied industry. We really thank SAPOL for work, walking with us side by side by having them with us in this program. The students are getting a, a really deep immersion into the industry uh, which is uh, just a wonderful opportunity for them to understand what they're working towards. Thank you. Sorry, you may have just said but how many students have? Uh, have we had have 12 at the moment. We had many more applicants, but there was a process that the students needed to go through. And out of the applicants, we uh, selected 12 for this initial program. How many applicants were there? There were over 30. And what kind of criteria um, is there for the students? Uh, the students had to be able to explain to us why they felt this was the career for them and in what aspects that they uh, connected. Uh, we also needed to know from them what the capabilities were that they had um, that would help them become um, successful in this career. Uh, there was also an interview process. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, sorry, I, I just forgot to add one thing, I'm sorry. Um, these students through the Path Pathways program will also have um, unparalleled access to some of the um, uh, courses, some of the infrastructure and some of the facilities of SAPOL. Um, today we're going to see the students we put through their physical paces, but they will also have direct access to the physical training and obstacle courses uh, within the police academy. Um, they'll also be undertaking a camp at our state, at SAPOL's uh, state training centre in Rakunda. So this is really exciting and it's putting meat on the bone for these students in a way that is unprecedented in terms of, of access to the behind the scenes action of police recruiting and training. Um, just in terms of, of this program, I guess how crucial is it to boosting police numbers and effort across the board? Yeah, look, if I'm honest, it's one of those things that when it became uh, in its infancy or and when it was one of those matters that I was considering, I my first thought was, why haven't we done this earlier? Why haven't we done this before? You know, police, uh, policing is a generations old career. Um, Deficit Senior College is 100 years old this year. Here we are running a pilot. So um, often it takes you know, what we saw in the COVID years where it was significant drop in applications to really, um, push decision makers and policy makers into this. But I've got to say, it's, it's a, been a great success so far. It's one that is really common sense to me and one that I expect that, that through this pilot we'll see and, and already has been a number of other schools expressing a very strong interest to come on board as well. But it, uh, it's it's one of the pathways and what we want to make sure and as we have for many years now is that our police service looks like our community. Uh, we want to see more people from multicultural backgrounds policing. Uh, we have now for a number of years been encouraging and um, seeing more women apply and become police because the work that police do across the uh, 50 plus career streams within policing touches every single corner of our community and it is a good thing, it's a proud thing for us to be encouraging more and different people to becoming police.
uh, on our roads has been less than the last year. Uh, we need people to continue to make positive decisions to do the right thing. Um, last night is an example. I don't, unfortunately, in these very early stages, understand the cause or consequences or circumstances, but it was a single vehicle, single fatality. We do see a tragic number of those across our, our state, but um, let's make 2024 a better year. And you know we're here talking about policing today. Let's give our police a bit of a, a bit of a break as well. Um, they're the ones that knock on the doors to inform families of death, trauma. Let's give our police a break. Um, overnight as well, there were a number of fires even this morning, and our firefighters have also put their lives on the line. Is that from that? Yeah. Look, I, again, I'm sorry. I haven't got a, a set rep on, on uh, operational deployments. Uh, They are literally running into danger as the rest of us are running out. And when we talk about the, the challenges that we all face, it is the resilience of our first responders that continue to inspire me, that amongst all that happens and amongst all the challenges, uh, they continue to serve, they continue, whether it be at three o'clock this morning or whether it be at midnight tonight, to, at the moment's notice, when the bells drop, the pager drops, they're out there looking out for our any more questions for Stephen? Um, yes. Um, I guess at this stage it's just 12 students in a pilot program. Um, I guess how much do you hope that this is quickly expanded to make a significant impact on these um, Well, It's a 12 month course, so we really want to evaluate how how the students go and how the applications we get from on that course in 12 months. And this is just one part of our recruiting process. Uh, we're still concentrating on both domestic um, applicants from the metro area and also from regional areas, but also our international campaigns. And how much 